Hey y'all, it's Cindy Carr with Around the Town in the South and I am in Nashville, Tennessee and I am so excited. I love social media and y'all know that. And y'all know I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of them, Pinterest, all of them. I was scrolling Instagram about two weeks ago and I came across a uh, page called Shower Up Nashville. And it, I, it immediately drew me to find out what it was. And I friended Rhonda she sent me some information i looked at mm -hmm. it but i wanted to do a story because i love one thing giving back i love helping people but i also love showcasing things in the south that a lot of people don't know that people do so i'm standing here with paul and Rhonda schmitz they're from nashville tennessee and they came up with the idea of shower up to give the homeless showers here in the area i had never heard about it when i went to the website and we chatted a little bit it actually brought tears to my eyes because I would never have dreamed of an idea like you have. So as we get started, the first thing I want to do is talk to you about how the idea came about and when did you come up with it and where you are right now. Well, so we came up with the idea through really just working with the homeless. We spent a lot of time uh, working with the homeless and getting to understand what their needs were. And as we, uh, as we started talking with them, uh, we realized that uh, they might have uh, food and clothing uh, through other organizations, but one thing they just didn't have access to was showers. And, you know, we had seen that there was the, uh, the possibility of doing a, a mobile shower unit and thought, I wonder if that's something we could do in Nashville. And we did some research and realized, yeah, there, there's a real need in Nashville. In fact, we discovered that uh, there are about 10,000 homeless men, women, and children in Nashville, and there were less than a dozen shower heads available to them. Wow. Yeah. So you bought your first van that's drivable. Yep. And in each of these mobile units, I'm going to call them one of them, it's not a mobile, it's drivable. There's <laughs> three um, showers in each. So how long did it take you from your first, to do your first? Tell me about your first experience when you got in that um, truck and you went down to where you go to offer the homeless a shower. How was that first time with the first experience? A lot of them knew we were coming because we had told them. They were so excited. So we pulled up in it and they were like clapping. But there was like 60 of them. There were so many. And we were like, we have three showers. And we kind of were new. So we're like, okay, how do we do this? Everybody lined up. And then take one, number two, number three. And they, we provide the kits and everything. So they were just like showering. And we had three showers. We couldn't get through a lot of people in just the two hours. So we quickly learned through that first summer, this is not going to be enough. So you go for two hours every time? Yeah, about two and a half, yeah. Right about Monday nights, we go from six to eight. So then it starts to get dark about eight, so we try to kind of stop it. And then Sunday afternoons, we go for two, about two and a half hours. So you talk about the kit. Tell me what's in the kit, because I know if I were homeless, the kit sounds like it would be something fun. The kit contains everything that they need to take a shower. You've got your shampoo, your conditioner, you've got a body wash, loofah sponge, or a wash rag, you've got soap, and then people build the kits really so what they donate so some of them might have a razor but we have plenty of razors on the side if they don't we provide q-tips we provide hair brushes anything that they would need during that time so after they get their shower do they do y'all have like a station set up to blow dry their hair how does that work we, we actually have folks that um, that have provided haircuts and that have provided uh, hair care services and things like that uh, but we provide everything they need so if they yeah. need you know, an extra towel, if they want to take a towel with them, we provide that as well. Um, so we'll give them everything they want, yeah, everything they need. We have blow dryers on we the truck. We do have blow dryers. We have the, yeah. we do everything. So the community has really stepped up to help oh, big yeah. time. We couldn't do it without them. So oh, how yeah. long, when you when you got the first van, which like I said, it's drivable. Yeah. I may drive that thing one day, not today. <laughs> it's awesome. sold out here. Um, how long did it take for you to get the second? I know the need was there. It had to have been. And do you take both of the units to the same place at the same time? Yeah, good question. So when we first started, yeah, we took out the one unit. Uh, we realized after really just a matter of a couple of months that we needed to have a second one. We added the second one less than a year later. And uh, then then we were out and we take both of them on, on all of our locations. Now, we're actually getting ready to add a third unit. Oh, wow. And we'll be able then to take one of the units and have it go to other places around the community. So we have other cities, other towns in, in, in Tennessee 
that are having problems and they need our help. So we're going to allow that uh, that third vehicle then to go to other places too. So right now in Nashville, if I'm not mistaken, you do this on Sundays and Mondays. Right, so far, yes. Sundays and Mondays, we're going to be adding more dates this year. And especially events like tonight, we're doing um, an overflow shelter because it's so cold. So a bunch of men will go to an overflow shelter. We'll go there and just shower at that church where it's at. Oh, so okay. we do special events like that throughout the week. So I know that as you're building this, I know you have a vision. I know that this is something you want to do full-time. Both of these have full-time jobs if they work, you know, just like we do 40 hours a week. And the passion that you have for this to bring this to fruition, it's just, it amazes me. Well, thanks. Well, we do have a vision. We want to see uh, really everyone serve. And this year, our goal is to uh, provide showers for 5,000 people. Now, that's a, that's a pretty big <laughs> goal. But uh, it, it does begin to scratch some of the, the need and begin to, to help people move from that place of where they feel hopeless and they don't feel almost human. You know, and a lot of times when we see homeless people, they're, they're getting looked over, looked past, looked through. And what we want to do is make sure that they feel human again and that they feel a sense of hope. So we always tell people, we're not in the business of making dirty people clean. We're here to give hopeless people hope. And so we want to provide that for 5,000 people this year. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. Because that's one thing, when we talk about the South, that's what we talk about all the time. I was, as I was um, stalking uh, their pages and their videos, I came across a couple that kind of pulled me into their story. And I'm gonna get there to talk to you about it in a few minutes. But well, just like you said, when we look at homeless people, we think that that's what they want in their lives. Some of them and most of them don't want that for their lives. They want to get out of that. They want to have a normal life. This particular couple just, I mean, brought me in. Tell me about the couple that, and I'm just going to give you a little snippet. They were talking about getting their life back together, getting their home, and getting a job. They had just gotten jobs at the McDonald's, and that, that's all that it told, really. So you finish the story, how the story came about, and finish that story for me. Well, so Octavius and Tawana, um, they, they got their jobs. They they got into housing. So they have their own place. And we're so happy for them. And they come back every once in a while just to say hi and just to see how we're doing. That is <laughs> it's wonderful. a friendship. It's a like real it's friendship. A friendship. Yeah. You get to know them, how they survive, how they live. You just follow them every step of the way, and it's like a friendship. Yeah, yeah you're building that relationship yes. from day one. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome because when you get to really see how God's working, not only in your life, but in what you're doing and how it's impacting uh, in so many people, that's when you say to yourself at night, I'm doing my Exactly. Exactly. Yep, that's right. Yeah. So I know as you're looking forward, you got the third time coming. Yep. So will you do the same thing wherever you go? Then you'll be able to utilize 369 showers at a time? Yeah, for the for the places where we go where there's a greater need, yeah. we'll have more showers available. And at that point, then, we'll be able to do about 30 showers an hour. Oh, wow. Which is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which yeah. would be amazing. So great, especially and, like the heat of summer. Yeah, so. and, and one of our locations will have um, anywhere from three to 400 people that will be there that will, you know, if they get a shower, great. We'd love to provide a shower for them. Uh, and then we'll be able to go to other locations as well. So, yeah. So how do you raise money? I know this is strictly donations, and I know you funded a lot of this yourself because it's your passion. But how do how do you get the donations coming in? How do people find out about you and donate? Well, like yeah. through this. Oh, good. <laughs> through through like this. Uh, yeah. This is one of the things that uh, people just find us on social media, uh, and it's, it's people like you, it's people who are watching that just go, yeah, I want to help out. We have, we have a couple of grants um, that, that were a blessing to us in 2018 wow. uh, that have allowed us to get the third vehicle. Okay. Um, and so, but it's a lot of people, just individuals giving what they can. That is amazing. And as I was watching some of the videos and I was watching you know, I guess it would be the journey through getting your shower through the end, either getting your hair cut or getting your hair style or getting whatever you need. I know that y'all do more than just the shower. We were talking about the, the coat drive that you had. Tell me about the coat drive. We do. We did a sleeping bag drive that we started back in September. Um, and we said, hey, we just want to get 600 because I knew the winter would be cold. People would be staying out on the street. And the community stepped up and we received over 1,000. We still have about 80 left. We can pass those out to the new people hitting the streets when it rains or something, they can get new ones. We do that. We give them a fresh pair of underwear and socks. Every time they take a shower, we try to do that. 
Um, so we supply that, we supply shower kits, razors, anything they need on the side, anything that we would use when we take a shower or we need to stay warm. The gloves, the hats, we did a whole drive for that. We have beanie hats amount like it was just beautiful like they could just wear and they were like yay scarves people knitted scarves for us gloves so we we take whatever we can to make them feel comfortable while they're on the streets yeah and that's awesome because we're out here today and it's, all, it's maybe 39 or 40 degrees and i'm actually my fingers are getting so cold and sore my toes i can't imagine and i'm so thankful um i just I, the gratitude places that i have for my family and, and not in it in an, have to have that happen to me I guess you, you could say you really understand um, more of the, what the need is for those sleeping blankets and for the clothes and for the socks and the beanies what that means to them yeah. to stay warm yeah. Yeah. yeah for for a lot of people being on the street is not their first choice you know um, most of us are anywhere from one to two bad decisions or life experiences or health issues or whatever that would lead us to that place where we, we burn bridges with relationships, we, we don't have people to turn to, and we're embarrassed sometimes, right. and we wind up just trying to survive. And even though here in the South, we don't get brutal winters, it gets cold enough. At, at 40 degrees, you can, you can get hypothermia and you can die. Wow. So we want to make sure that no one has to suffer like that. I just, I, y'all are a blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just have so much admiration and thankfulness for y'all for seeing the need and coming up with such a brilliant, a brilliant idea to go to the community and the homeless. I think it is, it's amazing. And I know that if I were in another city and I would be looking for things, I'm sure I would hope they would reach out to y'all and find out, you know, once you set that path, you know, that journey, it's easy to do to follow somebody that's successful in something. Sure. So I hope that people will come out to you and ask you, how did you start it? What do we need to do? What does it take to do it? Because we need these everywhere. Every city needs this. Um, and that's why I came and drove six hours because I wanted to showcase the needs that we have to and, and the people, the Southern people who love to give back and that's what we do too. So is there any kind of story that sets out in your mind that you'll never forget and that you would, you would just want to give them acclimates from what you've seen in their life from the day you met them to now? Well, yeah, there's a lot of those, but James is one of these guys that we met him in August. And when we first met him, he, um, he had just become homeless because he had just been released from prison. He'd been in prison for most of his life. Wow. And so here he was now, a man who was trying to find his way, and he just needed a shower. He was living, honestly, in a car and on the street. And so we were just trying to make sure that we could connect with him in whatever way we could. But he came out every time we were out, he got a shower. And he just said, there's no reason for me not to be clean and not feel good about myself. Within a couple of weeks, he got a job. Oh, wow. And he, he was so happy about it. He came and told us all about it. And he was starting to save up money. And he said his goal was to get a house and a truck. We thought, that's great. You know, maybe we, we're thinking maybe, you know, a year down the road, you know, it, it's hard to, to work and save money. But he worked overtime. Mm -hmm. he, got, he got a raise. Okay. He started showing his value to the company. And then it was about, it's about October, and we didn't see him. He stopped coming. We thought, oh no. And it happens a lot. Something catastrophic happens, and they, they kind of wind up going back to square one. We thought, well, we're, we're just hoping that we'll see James again pretty soon. Well, about two weeks later, he showed up. I said, James, how are you? What's going on? And he was like, oh man, it's great. I'm like, it's great, okay. He goes, yeah, he goes, I got a house. Oh, it was so exciting. We're like, what? Like that's like it's just such a joyous moment when they, you know, and they're so happy. He You're was happy. so proud. Yeah. And then he said, I'm gonna come down though. I want to help volunteer. Yeah. And he said, but I gotta take buses. I'm trying to save money to get a truck. And so he started saving money, and uh, and we really helped him out with a little bit of money too. And so he's he's getting himself resituated in life, getting a truck, and he's gonna come volunteer and help. That is also good. He's doing great. It's awesome because it all started with a shower. Yep. One shower and the hope that you gave him to change his life. It, it was him that changed his life, but through you guys yep. and through God, of course. They give all that yes. Yes. Absolutely. All that yes. to God. Yes. There's no doubt about it. But I don't know if you can see Ian. I kept the door open, but the shower is pretty big. It's got a sink. It's got a mirror where they can see. How long do they get per person in each shower? 
we don't tie them up. As long as they want. We don't tie them because they don't get, you know what I'm saying? This wow. is their moment to take a shower. We're like, we don't time ourselves at home, you know? Right. Exactly. I mean, sometimes our daughter. <laughs> but no, we just. If they were say, guests yeah. in our home, we, yeah, we, we wouldn't would, set a yeah. time, so we don't set a time here. I love so, yeah. that. They're guests in their home. That's awesome. Yeah. So listen, y'all, I have put their um, website on there to go check them out. Shower Up Nashville. You, there's a place to donate, and I think it's, tell me, I don't remember the dollar amount per shower that's on there that you can donate. It's $3, $3 takes yeah. care of a shower. $3 takes care of a shower. So, y'all, everybody got paid today. It's Friday. We know you have $3 to give. <laughs> give $3 for this cause. This is amazing. They're doing amazing work. They are trendsetters. They are setting the trend for a lot of cities to do what they're doing. That's all. It only takes one. So thank y'all for watching our vlog. We could not do anything, be doing this without our advertisers, but I'm gonna ask a question first. Is there anything else that you wanna say? Just thank you, no, yeah, thank you. And thank you to Nashville, our community, for stepping up with the shower kits and everybody who's helped us along the way because it really takes all of us, honestly. Now, if someone wanted to volunteer, could they go on the website yes. and sign up on the volunteer? Yes, for sure. Okay, so if you wanna volunteer, you're media. in the area, you can go and check that out and all of that because I know that it takes a village. I mean, there's no it really doubt. Does. Yes, it, does. it really does. So, yes. if you're in the Nashville, the Nashville area, go check out and see how you can get involved with this. This does not take a lot of work. This is not a lot of thought process no. as far as that goes. It's set up for them. Yes. You just show up. Yes. Yep. And shower up. Exactly. I love that. And by the way, how did the name Shower Up come? To oh pass? my goodness. I have three little girls, and I would always say to them, their shower, their bathroom is upstairs, and I always look at his bathroom and I'd go, hey, go shower up. Go take your shower. Go shower up. And then when we did it, we're like, hey, shower up, you know? I Time love to take shower. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. I love the stories behind the creation and behind the ideas, how it all comes together. I'm so proud for y'all. Can't you. wait to see where you go from here. I, I want to get involved somehow. I don't know yet. Maybe just be donating. I don't know. But I I want people to know what you do and the difference you make in the people's lives. You're it's so amazing. Nice. Thank you. No, it's nice. just the truth. So thank y'all for joining us on our vlog today. We could not do this for if it weren't for our advertisers. Kim Goodson with Crylight Realtors. She is a top 10 producer. She is in the Madison, uh, Mississippi area, but she can go all over the Mississippi. Check her out if you look for um, a house or um, anything like that condo in the state of Mississippi. Also, Village Boutique is a clothing store, a sales clothing store in Madison, Mississippi. You can go to their Instagram page and you can order anywhere in the country. You can get whatever they want. They have some really cute ideas how to layer and put your clothes together. Dana and the ladies are also in there at Village Boutique. And then lastly, Perfect Pooch is where I get my dog groomed. She loved her, just picked her up the other day, two days ago, and she got it done. Lisa loves the animals and they love her and that makes a big difference because when I drop Lacey off, I don't worry about her. Perfect Pooch, boarding and grooming, Regional Mississippi. Y'all, thank y'all for joining us. Look forward to this afternoon. Cindy's got a vlog coming up at three, and we will see you around the town.